a super grid activity day. Students work in teams. Each team is a European country. We're trying to create a wind turbine to produce as much energy for our country and to export out to other countries to sell for profit. We want to raise awareness about the need to move away from fossil fuels and also the job opportunities that could, uh, they could avail themselves of if they get good STEM subject qualifications during their school time. Um, the Horn Sea offshore wind farm is obviously going to be a, a fantastic opportunity for these children and many of the children will be working in those careers in the future so we want to give them a practical opportunity to see what is out there for them. This is an activity where the students can build and manage their own wind turbine installations. It's an evolution from a basic wind turbine building activity day in which they build wood turbines and measure the power output but now we're taking into account the cost of their towers, the cost of their blades and they can transfer the power that they're producing into money and to see if they can set their own price to make a profit or loss for their, for their turbine installation. The unique SuperGrid software remotely gathers and displays the energy output data from each team as it happens. The children are just loving the activity all the way through. The, the hands-on approach to learning is definitely the way forward. It brings it to the real world that they're, they're compete, competing against each other um, and it, it really drives the children forward that they want to win and be successful. That is what we have to do on a European level. We want to make sure that we can generate when wind wherever and whenever it is available, but then send it to where it's most needed. Success comes from using their knowledge of maths, science and technology, as well as communication and team skills, patience and perseverance. You'll find that the groups have, have developed into taking on those roles of someone's a practical person and started building the turbines. Others have been more of a finance person and started dealing with the money side of it. And it's nice to see that children are developing into those natural roles that we do in industry anyway. I think they're now starting to develop that. This is year nine and they're choosing where they're going forward in the next few months as to what options they're going to study at GCSE um, and, and ultimately what options they're going to do after school as well. So it's nice that they get a taste of what career opportunities are out there for them, uh, particularly in the renewable energy sector. 